them, which has actually already got a new name. This is called the Mini Mudder. It's a 2005 VW Beetle. It's got the little 1.9 liter diesel in it. So, it was a pretty bad shape when I got it. I actually just finished washing it. Uh, super dirty, uh, a lot of interior parts missing, the axles out, all kinds of little stuff was torn apart on it. So I kind of threw most of those parts together and uh, I do some small mods like, you know, maybe block out little headlights, taillights. We don't need headlights where we're going anyways. So, I'm gonna take the wheels off, lift it up, check out the exhaust system on it, and I've got to do a little bit of work on the, the fuel pump on it, turn the fuel up a little bit. So, uh, I'll go ahead and pop the hood up and get started on it. Here, you can see where the fuel pump is, right there, and uh, what a lot of people are doing is they're loosening these torques here, one there, one there, there, and the little uh, triangle screw. They're loosening it and actually hitting it that way a little bit, which actually increases the fuel flow. So, we'll try the same thing, see if it works, and then later I want to take all this air box out, uh, build some pipe in to come up here, and I actually want the, it to come over here and do a hood exit out the hood here. A little bit like the turbo car here, except this one here will actually be a hood stack instead. You can see that little turbo way up there. Barely see it there. Uh, looks pretty dirty there. You can see the intake coming in and up here you can see where the exhaust has that. looks like a three bolts that hold onto the turbine housing on the exhaust side. I want to take all that off and re-plumb all that and run it up out the top. But for now I think we'll just modify the exhaust a little bit. I'd make it sound a little better and uh, then later we'll do the rest of that. I've got some flex pipe here and uh, I actually took the exhaust off and modifying it. You can see right there is where the turbo is. Uh, I've actually cut that off and I'm making a up pipe that's going to turn around and actually stick straight up there. Then I'm going to make an area for the flex pipe to come through and uh, then attach that to the hood exit. I'm getting my up pipe uh, made here. This is a uh, Flex pipe, I got it all heat wrapped all the way down. So it's gonna run down back by the firewall and uh, run out right between this opening right here. I haven't really seen any with hood exits before, at least uh, of these, and I know why, because that area is so tight down there. That's why you see people running out, out the side, coming up, stuff like that. But I've got my uh, up pipe. This one here is, is what reverses, uh, reverses the exhaust and turns it back up from the turbo and then this will attach to that. Here you can see where the down pipe's coming down, or well, I guess up pipe in this case. Right there we got the uh, coming directly from the turbo and that piece I've got made makes that 90, a little more than a 90 there and then it'll attach to that flex pipe. Here you can see the finished product on the bottom side. Got the bend there, which is not ideal, you know, being that sharp, but for just a little 100 horsepower engine, shouldn't be a problem at all. So, we got it attaching right to the turbo, uh, turbo's pipe there, it comes over, goes up, and I adjusted all the clearance uh, on the up pipe there. So, I've got to get me some brackets made up top to where it stays in place, and then we'll get the hood stack put on. I've got the hood uh, cut out for it, or just kind of getting it, the base cut for it. Not sure how I want to do that around there. Uh, if I can just get a seal or something to put over it or exactly how I want to mount it. I think I'd like to like tack wood in a couple places and then like run a rubber seal or something down over it. I have to tack up the exhaust here so it stays there and then make that rubber seal. But we're gonna see what it does right now. blue smoke coming out there on a cold star which is pretty normal I haven't got the wheels on it yet but you can tell got the hood stacking everything on so we'll give it a couple rips
first problem I ran into, uh, I've got these adapters, the ones I get from 5 by 100 to the 114.3 uh, adapters. And you see how the bolts stick out there. I meant to get the two inch ones, but apparently I got the one inch ones. And when I try to put my spacers on, you can see they won't actually seat against. They just go just like that because those bolt heads hit. So I'm gonna get four of these and actually grind down there about a half inch just to give enough room to slide over on each one. You can see where I actually had to notch. If you look in there, you see where each of those heads are. Now I actually have a groove cut out and the spacer sits flat now. They're cut just like that right there. First look at the mini motor. You see all the wheels I put on it. Uh, still gotta black out uh, some little things here and there, but exactly everything's finished up. You see just how wide this thing really is. It's ridiculous how wide it is. Because this one actually has the adapter, which is a one inch, and a two, a two, a two, a two, a two, and it was another two. So it's actually a total of 13 inches uh, outside of the hub. I don't know how big you guys can hear me. It's pretty windy here. But you can see I got the bug all uh, done, the little mini motor. Got the sack finished up and uh, wheels everything put on it. So I'm going to go ahead and take it for a drive. I'm going to show you a little inside view. Uh, like I said, a lot of the interior is not in it. Uh, I actually threw the dash in and stuff like that. So, let's see what it does. It's a bad start. I just stalled it. It actually stalls a lot easier with these big tires. I've actually got a lot more of a turn radius than I was expecting. You can see I can actually go that sharp. It actually turns sharp with such a short wheelbase. for today guys next one we'll take it back there and do some off-roading with it and see just what uh what all this little thing's capable of so for now that'll be all hit the thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time